With the recent release of the sixth Percy Jackson in the Olympians book, The Chalice of Gods, it got me thinking about where it ranks amongst all the Percy Jackson books, and what the best Percy Jackson book actually is. I figured the best way to find the objective answer is to ask the fans themselves, so I created a poll where my subscribers could rank the books in the order they see fit. Before we get into the ranking, I have to clarify some things. This list will only contain books and series where Percy Jackson appears or focuses on demigods from Camp Half-Blood, so the Kane Chronicles and the Magnus Chase books will not be included. The people I polled were asked to rank the books from 1st to 17th with an option for did not read as well. They were also allowed to rank the books as a tie, so for example if someone couldn't decide between if the last Olympian or the Titan's curse should be third, they were allowed to rank both as third. I would have preferred not to allow ties like this, but that's an issue when you use Google Forms. There also won't be any major spoilers if you're worried about that. But without delaying any further, this is how over 700 Percy Jackson fans ranked the Percy Jackson books. Coming in in 18th place we have The Dark Prophecy with an average ranking of 6.94. This is the second entry in the Trials of Apollo series. The reason I think this book is ranked so low amongst fans is because this is the first book in a series where Percy Jackson does not appear much at all. I think many fans were expecting a series like The Heroes of Olympus where Percy has a large reoccurring role and were probably surprised by the lack of his presence. In 17th place we have The Hidden Oracle with an average ranking of 6.55. This is the first entry in the Trials of Apollo series. This book is probably ranked so low for similar reasons as The Dark Prophecy. Fans were probably expecting another series similar to the two prior, but then were surprised when Percy or any of the seven didn't appear for a single chapter. I personally still love this series, even without Percy, but fans are understandably looking for different things. In 16th place we have The Lost Hero with an average ranking of 6.46. This is the first entry in the Heroes of Olympus series. I think I'm sensing a bit of a pattern here. No Percy equals lower ranking. I think everyone had a when is Percy gonna show up moment when reading this book. There is also a change in writing going from only Percy's POV to multiple POVs. This could have also led to a lower ranking as well. But ultimately I think this book set up the series wonderfully. But people will have different opinions. In 15th place we have The Tyrant's Tomb with an average ranking of 6.36. In 14th place we have The Burning Maze with an average ranking of 6.36 as well. I think these books rank a bit higher than the other books in this series as those left reading did not have the expectation of Percy appearing anymore. That is probably why the did not read columns for these books were so high. But even then it's still hard to be more popular than the originals. In 13th place surprisingly is The Sea of Monsters with an average ranking of 6.24. I could not tell you why this book is ranked so low, personally this is one of my favorites in the entire series. Maybe people were having flashbacks to the horrendous movie adaption of this book? I mean that's the only reason I can think of, of why this book is so low. In 12th place we have The Demigod Diaries with an average ranking of 6.18. This book is stylistically very different from the main series, containing a bunch of short stories instead of having a long overarching story, which could have led it to being not as popular. In 11th we have The Tower of Nero with an average ranking of 5.71. I thought this book was a solid conclusion to the Trials of Apollo series. In 10th place we have The Blood of Olympus with an average ranking of 5.06. As someone who loves the Heroes of Olympus series, I would say this ranking is fair. I think I and many others felt the ending of this series felt a bit rushed and anticlimactic. I have always felt like the Heroes of Olympus having a 6th entry would have been really beneficial for creating a more climactic ending. In ninth place we have the Son of Neptune with an average ranking of 5.01. We finally get to see Percy again in the Heroes of Olympus for the first time and it's also a great first look at Camp Jupiter. In 8th place is the Sun and the Star with an average ranking of 4.34. In 7th place is the Chalice of Gods with an average ranking of 4.29. I think the reason both the Sun and the Star and the Chalice of Gods are ranked so high is because they were released very recently before I did my poll, meaning that only more hardcore fans had read the books by then and are more likely to rank them as high as they do. In 6th place we have The Battle of the Labyrinth with an average ranking of 4.20. I always loved the way this book described the maze and it beautifully set up the final book of the series. In 5th place we have The Lightning Thief with an average ranking of 4.11. I mean what can you say about this book that hasn't been said? It is an amazing introduction of Percy and the whole entire mythological world. It's the book that kept us invested in these characters for all these years.
In fourth place, we have the Titan's Curse with an average ranking of 4.06. This book gives us a proper introduction to some fan favorite characters like Dahlia Grace and Nico D'Angelo. This book is also where the series starts to take a more serious tone and reminds us, without getting into spoilers, that demigods are still mortal. In third place is The Mark of Athena with an average ranking of 3.63. I think this book is where the seven are shown to be a collective unit the best. I felt this group's overall chemistry here was the strongest in the entire series. Annabeth's solo adventure was also great to see. And it was very interesting to see a detailed look at the inner workings of our thought process for the first time as well. It also has quite the cliffhanger, if you know what I mean. In second place, we have The House of Hades with an average ranking of 3.28. Without getting into specifics to avoid spoilers, let's just say this book gives you a lot to look forward to if you're a big fan of Percy and Anime. And judging by the ranking, you really can't beat that. In first place, and what fans have voted as the best Percy Jackson book, is The Last Olympian with an average ranking of 3.17. The Last Olympian is my favorite Percy Jackson book and I couldn't agree more with this ranking. The build up to this book was amazing and the climax pays off wonderfully. I felt it really showcased the high stakes at play and the task at hand truly felt monumentous. I truly feel like this is the perfect Percy Jackson book and my personal number one. So that's how the fans rank the books. What do you guys think about the rankings? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down below and where you would put each Percy Jackson book. Overall, I think the ranking is pretty good. I would make a few changes here and there, but overall, I don't really have any major complaints.